Hey guys, welcome back, I'm Jay. In this episode, we're gonna look at the different options to perform query in place in S3. S3 query in place allows customers to run sophisticated queries against data stored inside S3 buckets, without the need to move data into a separate analytic platform. The ability to query data in place can significantly increase performance and reduce the cost for analytic solutions, leveraging S3 as the data lake. S3 offers different in-place querying options, including S3 Select, Glacier Select, Amazon Athena, and Redshift Spectrum. S3 Select is the built-in query capability that S3 offers. With S3 Select, you can run simple SQL queries and select only a subset of data from an object. For instance, you have a very large CSV file of product information stored in S3, and you want to find all popular products in the CSV file. You can use S3 Select to return products only marked as popular, without downloading the whole file. S3 Glacier Select is the built-in query capability that Glacier offers. With Glacier Select, you can perform filtering operations, using simple SQL queries directly on archives in Glacier, without having to restore the data. Amazon Athena is a serverless data query service, where you can run large and complex SQL queries on data stored in S3. You can integrate Athena with Amazon Quick Sight for easy data visualization. Athena uses Presto with full standard SQL support and works with a variety of standard data formats, including CSV, JSON, Avro, ORC, and Parquet. Athena can handle complex analysis, including large joins, window functions, and arrays. Because Athena uses S3 as the underlying data store, it is highly available and durable with data redundantly stored across multiple facilities and multiple devices in each facility. Athena uses a managed data catalog to store information and schemas about the databases and tables that you create for your data stored in S3. You can upgrade the Athena internal data catalog to the AWS Glue data catalog and leverage AWS Glue's ETL engine. If you're already using Amazon Redshift as a managed data warehouse service and storing massive data in S3 as the data lake, you can alternatively consider using a feature called Redshift Spectrum. Redshift Spectrum allows you to run complex SQL queries against petabytes of data in S3, without having to load or transform any data. Redshift is also integrated with other AWS Big Data and Machine Learning services, such as Amazon EMR, QuickSight, and SageMaker. The difference between Athena and Redshift Spectrum is that, Athena is a serverless data query service. Whereas Redshift Spectrum is not serverless. It's a data query feature of Redshift Data Warehouse service. In this episode, we've learned different S3 query in place options. With S3 Select you can run simple SQL query and select only subset of data from an object. Glacier Select allows you to perform filtering operations using simple SQL directly on data in Glacier, without having to restore data. Athena is a serverless data query service, where you can run large and complex SQL query on data stored in S3. Redshift Spectrum allows you to run complex SQL query against petabytes of data in S3, without having to load or transform any data into Redshift. Both S3 Select and Glacier Select are built-in S3 query features. Whereas Athena and Redshift are separate AWS services. Okay, that's all for S3 query in place. Thanks for watching and see you in the next episode. Hope you've enjoyed watching this episode. If you like the video, please help us and hit the like button. If you want to watch more tutorials, please subscribe to the Cloudemy TV channel. Make sure to turn on the notification and stay tuned. At Cloudemy, we're passionate about cloud and AI technology. Please share your feedback and thoughts in the comments below. Feel free to let us know what topics you'd like to watch. Happy watching and happy learning.